Hello friends, my name is Ron. This is This is Spirit Moves. I'm so glad to be with you this week. I have a devotion to share with you called Bad Decisions. Have you ever made some bad decisions? I'm not talking about just one. I talk about several of them. All through my life I made some bad decisions. I nearly went to prison. I would have if the Lord didn't intervene. That's all I'm going to say about that. Make bad decisions and we make mistakes. And usually it gets us in deep trouble. More than what we bargained for. This is about the story of a man named Tom and bad decisions. Tom was a family man. He had a couple of kids, a charming wife that lived in a small home. But he had to work long hours at his job. Just trying to make ends meet. He couldn't spend as much time as he would like with his children. By the time he got home, they'd be going to bed. Well, he had long foot time, but he would come home early and play with his kids and do more than just tuck them in. But that wasn't self right now. He's a businessman. He found a new client. And he made a deal with his new client. And he talked to his the president of the company, and the president said, wow, you know, you know, this is a multi-million dollar contract. We never had one that big before. Tom, if you get this guy to sign the contract, we'll move, we'll change you, we'll make you a vice president. It will five times be your salary that you'd be making. We'll buy you the car of your choice. We'll put a nice down payment on the house, the new bigger house that you want to buy. Let's just get this signed. But the time he decided to drive the distance, it was probably about eight hour, uh, eight hour drive straight, if you don't stop for any reason. So he signed a contract that he was on top of the world. Thank you, universe. Tom was not a Christian. But he's on top of the world. He feels invincible. I can do anything now. I don't have to worry about money no more. Oh, yes, I'm... Nothing can give this bad feeling, but oh, I'm happy. So, Tom, he stopped in a nice hotel. He, he got himself a suite in the nice places, you know, that we don't usually see. And he, he went out and had a steak dinner in fine steakhouse. It was the best steak he had ever had. After having a nice steak, he decided to walk around and see the city, see what he had to offer, look around. See the buildings and displays and stores. This is wonderful being such a large city. He uh, seen this nice looking woman. She almost had a skirt on, if you know what I mean. Short, short. Well, it was a short, but very short skirt. So he walked up and said, uh, my name's Tom. Uh, would you like to go out for a drink? He says, no, I don't go out for drinks. I'm a working girl. If you want to spend time with me, cost a hundred bucks, you get half an hour to do anything you want to do. And he said, oh, well, I'm sorry. And he started start turning around, then he stopped his track and turned back around and said, hey, 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 uh, I'll miss. Uh, maybe, we, maybe we can do something. So she goes to his apartment and she notices the wedding ring still on his hand. Yes, and that wedding ring. And she says, you're married, aren't you? He says, yes, I am. And he says, I'm very nervous. He says, I'm very nervous because I've never done anything like this before. So I, I don't know what to do. She says, tell me what you want. And I take control. He says, uh, how does this affect your wife and your family? Well, I don't know. It won't hurt you, will it? So, half an hour later, she gets done and she goes to the bathroom to wash up, clean up. And he just decides to lay there a few hours, you know, after what he'd done and relax a little bit before he goes wash up. He kind of felt dirty though. You ever do something and you try to take a shower to get the, to feel cleaner, but you don't? Your body can't even scrub your body pink. You can't really get to that dirty feeling you have. 
I've been there, friends. I'm sure you have before. We all make mistakes. But everything we do has a price. It's a big price that you may pay. More than you ever bargained for. Well, she left a note on the mirror. It says, congratulations. You now have AIDS. He freaked out. He gets dressed, goes back down to the street to see if he can find I mean, what can you do? I mean, you know, you made a contact with a woman. If you, well, he didn't find you, but even if he did, it was his choice. Bad decisions. My friend, have you ever made some very bad decisions? If God paid you for your mistake, Jesus will forgive you, but society will not. That's right, my friends. I am so glad that we can come to the Lord Jesus Christ and confess our sins. And he's so merciful. We can clean up our life, help me get rid of that bad feeling, that nasty, dirty feeling we have for the blood of, the, of Jesus Christ. Be cleansed. You still have to be society. My friends, I want to tell you as you start this new year, 2023, keep guard. When temptation comes to strikes, and no. Uh, make sure you give the life to Jesus Christ, confess your sins, and then you can be cleansed of that bad feeling, and then he can help you, and he will help you. Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world. I want to tell you when you're tempted this year to do something you're not supposed to do, and you know you're not, you see that conviction that you feel could be from the Lord, or it could be from a moral upbringing. And you know... You never know the price you have to pay for something just too late. Well, I'm not going to tell you what happened to Tom. He had to drive home that day and get his wife and wife explanation. And can it be fixed? I'm not sure about Tom, his family. Well, I tell you, my friends, as you do things and you see things and you feel tempted, stop, breathe, ask the Lord to give you, to, to help you to turn away from sins, to rebuke the, the, the Satan, the one that puts a lot of these bad thoughts in your mind, and bind him in the name of Jesus. So when you're tempted, I say, yeah, I feel the temptation, but I'm strong in the Lord, and I'm not going to do something wrong. Because we need to glorify the Father who sits in heaven. I charge you, my friends, to take and consider everything has a price. And sometimes it puts a bad taste in your mouth, it will eventually bring you death. For wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. You get that? God wants you to be in heaven someday. But it's up to you. I hope you have a very happy new year. God bless you.